the term adjuvant therapy was developed first in our in our battle against cancer because it was learned many years ago that uh, if we remove a tumor today from some part of your body, whether it be a primary cancer of the colon or the breast uh, or the pancreas or the lung, there is a chance that that cancer may come back. Well, if that cancer comes back, say, in a year, the obvious question is, where did it come from? Doctor, I thought you removed my tumor. How could it be back? Well, what had happened is the cancer had spread at a microscopic level before the patient was diagnosed. We have no imaging studies that can see microscopic tumor cells. If, for example, a breast cancer had already spread to the bone before the patient was diagnosed, that may not rear its head for a year, two years, three years after the primary breast cancer was already treated. Because of that, there was then an enthusiasm to say, well, can we not treat cancer better when it's microscopic, which is probably true. In other words, if the cancer cells are few in number and impossible to see, chemotherapy may actually be more effective. So therein lies the rationale for so-called adjuvant therapy. You remove the primary tumor surgically. We know then that that patient statistically has X risk of the cancer coming back, depending on what kind of cancer it was and at what stage. So if we remove a pancreas cancer today, there is a greater than 50-50 chance that the cancer will come back at some point in the future. So adjuvant therapy refers to the delivery of typically chemotherapy with or without radiation to treat clinically and radiographically occult, i.e. invisible, tumor cells that may be present elsewhere. So that would be adjuvant therapy. If you then look at the history of the term neoadjuvant, that just means that you're doing the same thing in reverse order. So with pancreas cancer, it is the prototypic tumor where we deliver neoadjuvant therapy because cancer cells oftentimes are in other parts of the body at diagnosis and surgery is a very big undertaking and it occupies a period of recovery that usually measures a couple months. If we operate on the patient straight away and they have a greater than 50-50 chance of having microscopic, completely invisible cancer cells someplace else, they obviously will grow during the period of recovery from surgery. Therefore, at this institution, we routinely use a neoadjuvant approach. In other words, we give the chemotherapy first. We're treating the invisible micrometastatic disease that may be in other parts of the body before the operation. Hopefully, we have killed those cancer cells, which are small in number, outside of the pancreas, so they don't have the benefit of the pancreas supporting architecture and all of the things within the pancreas that preserve the tumor cells. Treat them with chemotherapy first in a so-called neoadjuvant fashion, then remove the primary pancreatic cancer, and then deliver an additional two to four months of adjuvant therapy after surgery.